Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back, welcoming you to Wild Eye Week 2023. And I'm kicking things off with my review of Animal Inside. Animal Inside is a 2018 horror film, also known as Betsy. It was written and directed by Sean Burkett, and this DVD was released by Wild Eye. With this being Wild Eye Week, Animal Inside will be the first of seven Wild Eye reviews. And what a start it was with this film. I loved it. Animal Inside is an interesting werewolf flick. It pays homage to the classics while keeping it fresh. This one is very character-driven, and I really like that about it. Betsy lives in the city. One night, while she is walking to her car, she is dragged into a dark alley and attacked. She wakes up with a bite mark and scratches all over her body. To get away from the trauma of it all and the danger, Betsy decides to move to a more suburban area. She moves in with her friend Kate, who she met when their dads were in the army together. Betsy also begins working at Kate's coffee shop. It's been weeks since the attack, and she's slowly getting better. She attends group meetings, where survivors of attacks get together to discuss their trauma. She also meets a man named Sam in town, who asks Betsy out on a date. Sam is the hunting warden and animal expert of the area. He's also close friends with two local cops. Despite making progress, Betsy continues to be haunted by nightmares. And unfortunately for her, her move out of the city isn't the only transition she must deal with. Betsy is gradually becoming a werewolf. When victims begin turning up around town mutilated, the cops, with the assistance of Sam, believe it is the work of a wolf. As if sightings of wolves in Ohio weren't rare enough, imagine when they find out the truth. This isn't just the work of a wolf. It's the work of a werewolf. Betsy, with her animal inside. I think what I loved most about this movie is the characters. They were so well-developed and very likable. I feel like I got to know these characters very quickly in this 81-minute movie. As I mentioned, Animal Inside is definitely a character-driven film, so it's important to have that character development. It's also super important to like the main character, in this case, Betsy, and I do. There's something endearing about her, and she's also super cute. I really like Sam's character as well. He's just a normal guy. The interactions between the two cops is pretty fun to watch. Kate is a great friend to Betsy, so that's cool. And I just genuinely cared about these characters. After the initial attack in the city, it takes a while to get to the next exciting scene. But even still, I was hooked. Animal Inside held my attention the entire time. As a matter of fact, I didn't want it to end. I was completely invested in all of it. And unfortunately, that can't be said about a lot of films. Betsy is naked a few times in this, so that's an added bonus. There are a few good gory moments of practical effects. And the movie, overall, is competently made. The acting is more than adequate. I'd say it's good. I like the Ohio suburban setting. And as stated on the back, Animal Inside really is a werewolf film with heart and bite. I loved it. Huge thank you to Wild Eye Releasing for sending me this DVD to review. Have you seen Animal Inside, a.k.a. Betsy? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know.
One day down, six to go, in Wild Eye Week. What will I review next? Check back tomorrow to find out. Until then, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe. <laughs>